Welcome everybody. I'm Deidre. I'm Darius. We're Knights Treks and we're here at Universal Orlando Resort. We're going to show you where all of the freestyle machines are. We're going to take you around Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, and there is one here in City Walk. It's right there as you first walk in and you have to decide whether you're going to go to Islands or Universal. Now, we will warn you, there is very rarely any ice after like noon. So, Pack your freestyle with some ice from your hotel, and then you can use it here. Also, the freestyle machines you get here at the parks are not usable back at your hotel. You can get a separate freestyle machine for your hotel, but they're not interchangeable. So you're gonna have one for there and one for here. And you may be wondering, what even is a freestyle? It is a refillable cup with an RFID chip in the bottom of it. It gets you refills for the day or for your stay. All right, it's a hot day, so we're definitely going to be taking advantage of the free water you can get from every freestyle machine. Let's get started in Islands of Adventure. Once you get through the port of entry, if you head just a little bit off to the right, you're going to find Lemon Slush. Now, they do have Lemon Slush, obviously, but there's also a freestyle machine there. The Lemon Strawberry Slush, really good. Here's the freestyle machines right around the side. There are over a hundred choices. And you can also activate or buy a freestyle cup at any of these stands that we're about to show you. And I think the most important thing is uh, water. Honestly, between all of your sodas, get some water. And this is free, and you don't need to activate any freestyle cup. You can use any cup, honestly. We're using our uh, discounted cup from the Jurassic Park bar and water's free. Yes, yes, and who knows? I might just end up getting a drink, so. Yeah. <laughs> Got two purposes today. Two purposes <laughs> for our cup here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head over into Marvel Superhero Island. Freestyle machines, these are a little bit more popular than the Lemon Slush only because you can see them pretty clearly. You don't have to actually look for it, but it's right here next to this cotton candy stand. There's one more location with freestyle machines here in Marvel Superhero Island. Go past the amazing adventures of Spider Man. You're gonna go over here towards Captain America Diner. Looks like there's a line and they're restricting traffic flow. Um, they must be super busy. We made our way around the side. We're gonna see if we can get into the back entrance here. All right, there is the front entrance and you're gonna come down this little ramp into the lagoon side seating. And there are your freestyle machines. These we found have the best chance of having some actual ice after like 3 p.m. So, but this, restaurant does tend to close early at like five right it usually closes around five yeah so. this one yeah like amongst all like the earlier ones it's one of those every time we come over here they're about they're almost ready to close down yeah <laughs> all right we just asked and even after they're closed you can still come inside and get a drink so this could be a cool spot to chill out I did not know that, I'll be really honest. I thought it was closed and he said they don't lock the door so you can come in and get some water, get whatever you need after hours. It kind of sounds like a <laughs> Wow, all right, nice, nice. But the drinks are open. <laughs> yeah, he said kitchen's closed, drinks are open, you're good to go. Let's head into Toon Lagoon. Here in Toon Lagoon, there's only one and it's gonna be in Comic Strip Cafe. And then check it out and see if they have the same rules that Captain America Diner has. See, they're already closed. Alright, so the doors were locked. So this one, I think once the doors are locked, there's no getting back in. Yeah. Or for this one. Man, this one closed early too. It's not even three o'clock. That's weird. And let's get some more water while we're here because we're already running low. 
You want more ice? Yeah, maybe a little. Because, you know, we're, we're picky and we won't drink the water once it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> we have crossed through Toon Lagoon and now we're in Jurassic Park. There are actually four freestyle locations here. Let's start off strong, right across from the T-Rex. It's called Jurassic Park Beer Stand or Bone Chillin' Beverages. Right around the side. These look like they still have ice too. It's almost two o'clock. If you see a stand like this without a freestyle machine, you can still use your freestyle cup. They'll put it on a sensor to make sure you have free refills, then you can get whatever you want. Up next is Pizza Predatoria. You go right around the left-hand side. There's an alcove covered with two freestyle machines. We have found these to be the least reliable for ice. Next up is Burger Diggs. Now you can go in that door. And if you want a little snack or if you need to reactivate your freestyle cup, you just need a drink, go in this door. This is the Jurassic Park Discovery Center, but it'll lead you right to the freestyle machines. Those are the doors where you come in. You just come around this little semicircle here, and there we go. Like I said, you don't have to get food here, but if you do, you're gonna pop out right there. And they've got five in here, and these usually, like seven times out of 10, will have ice. What did you say, Velocicoaster's how long? <laughs> Velocity Coast was 105. I said, yeah, maybe we could wait on it until oh, I looked no. at the time. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> we're not waiting for 105 minutes. <laughs> uh, we are at the Watering Hole. This is one of our favorite bars. I think this is tied with Finnegan's, but Mythos has a new outdoor to-go bar. So anyway, that's not what this video is about. The, the purpose that I'm showing you the Watering Hole for is there's freestyles right over there. But also, if you're a thirsty fish for something other than soda and water, Come here, they got the Frozens, you can put a shot of liquor into it. They've got mixed drinks, mocktails, beer. It's a really good place to stop. That way is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, but the Wizarding World of Harry Potter... It doesn't have freestyles. No. No. So JK Rowling was like, no Coca-Cola. <laughs> the freestyles. Save, save yourself the shoulder to shoulder touching. Oh my gosh, no. It's so <laughs> hot going that way. We're gonna... We're gonna go down this new pathway towards Velocicoaster and then head into the Lost Continent. In Lost Continent, there is delicious kebabs. Duck Surge's kebab house. Around the side next to the talking fountain that also spits a ton of water. Four freestyle machines. Again, these are hit or miss with the ice. And if you're super hot, come over here. And if there's somebody running the fountain, they'll be able to shoot you with water if you're super hot. You can ask them to. We're heading into Seuss Landing for the last two freestyle machines in Islands of Adventure. And as soon as you cross over from Lost Continent, you're gonna notice Moose Goose Juice. Moose? Juice. Goose. Juice. Moose Goose. Moose Juice. Moose Juice Goose Juice. There we go. You there said we go. it. <laughs> and right underneath this archway are the freestyle machines. And let's do an ice test. These have ice about two out of ten times. Not the best place to go for ice. I think it's just like the afternoon sun just yeah. comes and it just kills it. I mean, like, I think for today, because it's not like super slam, super busy, so you might find some ice. So if you do happen to go on a very slow day, odds are high. But yeah. if it's like packed out, all the rides are at like yeah. an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. <laughs> no. Next stop and our last stop is Circus McGurkis Cafe Stupendous with freestyle machines inside. I always like the ones that have the freestyle machines inside because you get a little AC break while you refill your cup. And it looks so nice and clean in here. They just recently refurbed and repainted and refreshed. All right, there's two locations now. One on each side of the building. This one's off to the right, right next to the doors that'll lead you to the exit in the restrooms. And the other one is over there, kind of towards the middle in the back. Because these are inside in the air conditioning, you can almost always find some ice here. Um, we need to ask somebody though. 
I think they they locked the doors here. I don't think this is like Captain America's diner. I think once they locked the doors, oh it's yeah, done. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they locked the doors just like over at the Comic Strip Cafe. Comic Strip Cafe, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, you can find the hours on the app for each restaurant, so that way you know once the restaurant is closed, it's done. Alright, that is going to wrap it up here in Islands of Adventure, but the adventure lives on. We've made it to the Bank of Evil. <laughs> we are at Universal Studios now and there's two freestyle machines here in Minions Land. Let's go check them out. The first freestyle machine you're going to come across is inside Minions Cafe. Probably Bumblebee. Um, they've got someone manning the door. Which means you're not allowed to go inside unless you're ordering food and sitting down. But there are a couple freestyle machines inside. It's really cool. Order some food. Go check it out. But the other one here in Minions Land is right across from the Papa Nana cart. That's the Papa Nana cart. And there's your freestyle machines. We've made it to Central Park. And this little stand right here called Avenue Eats is gonna have two freestyle machines right on the side. All right, the last location in New York is gonna be Louie's Restaurants. Right across from the Starbucks, right down the street from the Mummy. Now this is the same sticker that Captain America's Diner had. So even after they're closed, you're gonna be able to come in here and get some freestyle. Yeah, right, let's head over into San Francisco. All right, Richter's Burger is the location in San Francisco that has the freestyle, but they don't have the sticker on the door. So I'm thinking when they're closed, it's over, and you're gonna have to find another freestyle machine. If you can catch these, these have the best ice, or best chance for ice anyways, but these are the ones that kind of break down every now and then, so sometimes they'll only have two available. scale goes off. All right, the last location in San Francisco is going to be San Francisco Pastry Company. There is a little bakery here. It's super cute. They have some good stuff. But these right here have a hard time keeping up with the ice. I don't know how many times we've come through here, especially on Halloween Horror Nights. They have a scare zone right here. And these are just, they're out of ice. So, slim pickings, but it's nice that there is one right at the edge of San Francisco because as we're heading into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, there's King's Cross Station, um, Diagon Alley's over here, there's the night bus, but there's zero freestyle machines in this area. The next one isn't until the bridge all the way through this land. All right, there's number 12, Grimmauld Place. This is the end of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We're gonna take the bridge over into World Expo but there is a freestyle machine by these restrooms. This building right here is restrooms. And then right around the other side are the freestyle machines. And here we go. There is a couple here. And this is about a one out of 10 on ice. Sometimes, sometimes they'll have ice, but not very often. It looks like they might have ice today though. Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like if it's not too packed, I think you yeah. might be able to get some ice. But other than that, yeah. If it's a busy, busy day here in the parks, ice is non-existent. All right, let's head over the bridge into World Expo. All right, I have to talk fast because this area always gets copyrighted with the music, but if right across from Men in Black, there is a popcorn pretzel churro stand and you can get freestyle there, or this whole building is air conditioned and you can just go in there and get you some freestyle in there as well. We're 
going to trek through Simpsons Land because there are no freestyle machines in Simpsons Land, just like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That's not to say you can't get a soda inside of Simpsons Land. You can go into the food court and just get like a cup of soda, but there's no freestyle machines here. All right, this is the new DreamWorks Land. It used to be Kids Zone, but the freestyle machine is going to be right next to SpongeBob Store Pants. They have recently painted the Kids Zone Pizza Company, and I don't know what they're gonna rename it since this isn't really Kids Zone anymore. You've got DreamWorks everywhere. You've got Shrek Swamp, Kung Fu Panda Training Academy. Um, they might actually rename it, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go towards this secret little cubby over here. Oh, it's not the uh, hidden over here are three freestyle machines. On busy days, these will run out of ice. Most of the time though, eight out of 10. Let's give it a little tester. All right, nice. It has ice. <laughs> I, saw, I heard some noise back here. What? <laughs> no, it's just me. We're just checking them out. Yeah. Okay. All right, from Kids Zone or DreamWorks Land, whatever we're calling it now, we're gonna head into Hollywood. And right across from Cafe La Bamba is gonna be the crepe stand. Now they do have killer crepes, but the freestyle machines are right on the side. And these are about a one out of 10 on ice, like hardly ever. Oh, that has ice. I tell you what, come on a low, low day. I think every machine has had ice today. Yes, and I'm shocked for it. I am it shocked, It could yeah. be that the team members are actually keeping up with it. Yeah, so <laughs> the machines don't make their own ice. Team members have to bust it out and cart it out and put yeah. it in the machines. So more props to them. <laughs> like, like, I mean, like, I, I give you all my energy to go do that. And last summer there were a lot of complaints that they were running out of ice. So maybe they came up with a solution and fixed it this year. Yes. All right, the last freestyle machine before our tour around Universal Orlando Resort is complete is Mel's Drive-In. Recently revamped, Mel's Drive-In is gonna have a couple freestyles inside. Let's go see if they have that sticker on the door where it says like, you know, all day freestyle. Uh-oh, I don't see the sticker. It's nice in here, I like it. Yeah, it's a cool, little red, a little silver. Yeah, I like the teal tile. It's a little blue pop. These always have ice, so <laughs> you're good to go in here. But he said once they lock the doors, no more freestyles. Ding dang, you'll have to go to Louie's. That has been your freestyle guide video around City Walk, Islands of Adventure, and Universal Studios, Florida. What a long day. <laughs> Yes. There's a lot of freestyle machines. And you can get ICs as well. Now, they have to be specifically icy. I C E E. Not just any frozen stuff. Like over at the watering hole in Islands of Adventure, they have frozen stuff you can add alcohol to, but those aren't ICs. So it has to be an icy. Sodas, they have vitamin water, lemonades. And if you don't want to buy the freestyle, you can still get water and ice where available. So. So what you're saying is, if I get a shot somewhere, go and get an icy, and then put a shot, I can have myself a little boozy slushy. No, okay, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> I know it's against the rules to put a shot inside of a butterbeer. I don't know if it's well, against the rules to put a shot inside of an icy. Well, I mean, if you think about it, because you're buying your own shot, it's not like the team member's putting it in the shot. And you can still walk around the park with an alcoholic beverage, so. But I think there's a rule against putting alcohol inside of your freestyle cup. Oh, that would make sense because yeah, then it's covered. Then it's and covered then... and security doesn't know that you have alcohol in there. Look, don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we've had a fun day. Thanks so much for trekking around with us. And um, thank you so much to our exclusive trekkers. If you like this video, hit like, hit the subscribe. And if you really, really liked this video or you really like us and you want to see this channel succeed, become an exclusive trekker like our friends here. And uh, we'll see you real soon. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.